Hi there, let's solve this problem. Now, we could solve by rearranging first of all. So, I have minus 42 here equal to 0. Now, since this is cubic, all I need to do is look for numbers that when I plug into this will give me 0. So, let's try m equals to 3. So, I got 3 cubed plus 5 times 3 minus 42 equals to 0. So, this is 27 plus 15 minus 42. And this, of course, will give you 0 because this is 42 minus 42, which is 0. Now, from this m equals to 3, I could get a factor of this cubic equation. This is the root here. So I get the factor. The factor will be m minus 3. Now, I'm going to divide this cubic equation by this factor to get a quadratic equation. So you're going to go ahead and go m minus 3. You're going to divide this m cubed plus 5m minus 42. What you get here is a quadratic equation. And you can solve your quadratic equation through any of your quadratic methods. So let's do that over here. m minus 3. And m cubed. Now I'm going to do something interesting here. You're going to get y later. So I just add 0m squared here. Now, to divide, you're going to ask yourself, how many times would I multiply m there to give me m cubed? Or what would I multiply by m that would give me m cubed? And that would be m squared. So m squared times m will give you m cubed. And m squared times minus 3 will give you minus 3m squared. Okay? So that's why I put this 0m squared here, to avoid confusion. Now when you subtract m cubed minus m cubed goes away. Then you have 0 minus minus 3, which will be plus 3m squared. Now, since there are no other numbers here, I'm going to bring these ones down. So you have 5m minus 42. Again, you ask, what would I multiply by m that give me 3m squared? Of course, that would be plus 3m. So 3m times m is 3m squared. And 3m times minus 3 is minus 9m. So again, you subtract here. This goes goes away. This is plus 5m minus minus 9m, which will give you 14m. Then minus 42 comes down. Then you multiply by 14 here, which will give you 14m minus 42. And when you subtract for the final time, you will realize you have no remainders. Now, this means that m minus 3, m squared, the dividend, plus 3m plus 14 is equal to 0. What we have done here is to reduce this into its factors. One is linear expression and the other one is quadratic. So we can easily get the linear expression equated to 0 and get 3. For the quadratic equation here, we need to use quadratic methods to solve it. And that's what we're going to do next. So let's get rid of this. Okay. and solve the quadratic equation. So we go m squared plus 3m plus 14 equals to 0. I'm going to say a equals to 1, b equals to 3, c equals to 14. Using the quadratic formula, we have b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now your b is 3, so plus minus. b squared is 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 14 all over 2 times 1. So m will be minus 3 plus minus 9. This will give you 56 all over 2. So m will be minus 3 plus minus minus 47. All of this will be over 2. Now you can clearly see that this will give you an imaginary root because you have a negative square root, or square root of a negative number. So let's get rid of this one now. So m would have two values. m would be minus 3 plus minus, let's go i, root 47 over 2. So m will be minus 3 plus i root 47 over 2. And m will be minus 3 minus i root 47 over 2. So these are your three values for m.
this, this, and this. Okay, so for those who don't understand how root 47, this is minus 47 root, this is the same thing as minus 1, the square root of 1 times root 47. So the square root of minus 1 is a complex number. So that's how we got that number over there. Okay, let's check out this. So that's how we got from here to here. Okay, so if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you in the next video.